What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to clarify things about the iOS 10.3 jailbreak, if it's going to be released or if it's going to be any chances for it to get released in the um, in the future. So I'm going to start with the fact that the iOS 10.3 betas are finally near to the end. You can see here on the betas that we are finally on iOS 10.3 beta 7 released on um, uh, March 16 which marks the uh, almost end of the beta program and iOS 10.3 will most likely be released prior to the WWDC event that is going to be held this March. So um, this means that the iOS 10.2.1 is going to see its end soon and it will be replaced by 10.3. Now, 10.3 uh, has some new features, but it also patches a lot of exploits and a lot of bugs that were present in the, um, in the iOS 10.2, 10.1.1, 10 10.2.1, and so on. And I'm going to discuss with you whether it's safe to stay on 10.2.1, or if you should update to 10.3 if you're not jailbroken, of course. Now, speaking about jailbreak and iOS 10.3, we have already demoed something. I mean, we have already talked about the demo uh, created by iJapijab00. We, we do know that this is not the, uh, the best source for a jailbreak. Uh, he is a tweak creator and we discussed more about this in that video. So be sure to check it out. The video was actually uh, posted uh, somewhere in February, uh, no, somewhere in 27th of uh, January, the post and the video was on in February. So uh, it's quite an old thing, but it might still give a chance. But I'm not going to, to discuss about this today. I'm going to discuss about the odds of having a jailbreak on iOS 10.3, and they are very small. Why? Well, iOS 10.3 has patched a lot of bugs, but that wouldn't be a problem. The problem itself would be the fact that we do not have the developers to do that. And I'm going to tell you why. Look at Tedesco has released the iOS 10.2 uh, and 10.1.1 jailbreak for the uh, devices running uh, on 64-bit. Now, he also released the Yalu Plus Mac portal available down below in here that works on iOS 10.1.1 for the iPhone 7. But he decided to stop uh, working on the jailbreaks due to the fact that people started to, I don't know, demand and say, when you're going to release that, please release that, please make that for my device and so on. Then he literally got very pissed off on this situation and decided to stop his public releases. So this might quite be the last jailbreak we're going to see from Luca Tedesco. Therefore, Luca Tedesco exits from our uh, jailbreaking schematics. Well, as you can see, uh, the Yalu jailbreak was in beta 7 for months, and therefore we do not know if it's, he is going to also make this one out of the beta. So we cannot count on, on Luca Tedesco for the iOS 10.3 or 10.2.1 jailbreak at all. Well, what about Pangu? Well, Pangu has been around for ages, literally ages, and they have been jailbreaking iOS 7, iOS 8, iOS 9, 9.x, and unfortunately not iOS 10. We haven't heard about Pangu since iOS 9.3 jailbreak, 9.3.3 jailbreak, which was way back in the summer, so it it is almost a year since we, we uh, hear anything about Pangu, therefore we cannot count on them either. They will probably work on something and we do know that Pangu used to be in stealth mode completely and every time, so you never knew when they are going to release anything, they just dropped it and it was released. But unfortunately it's been a very very long time since they did anything, so therefore I do not know if they are going to play with 10.3 or 10.2.1. Let's hope so, but we cannot put our trust for the moment in the fact that they are going to release a jailbreak. And what about Taiji? Well, if Pangu was dead, <laughs> not literally, for a while, then Taiji was completely dead for a while. Um, Taiji hasn't been jailbreaking anything since iOS 8.3 or 8.4 or something like this. Uh, yeah, I think, I, no, iOS 8.4 was their last jailbreak. And unfortunately, that means 2015, which is two years ago. And no, we're not going to get anything from Taiji. I doubt they're still working on any jailbreak. The jailbreak they created for the iOS 8.4 is still working, it's still downloadable, but it's nothing new on their webpage. They haven't posted anything new about any intentions. They did post it at some point in 2016, the fact that they are still working on jailbreaks, they didn't give up. But up until that post that they made in, 20, um, in 2016, nobody ever heard anything of Taiji. Of tai uh, kind of like a Derbyshire. 
anything uh, that can be done for the moment if you're on iOS 10.3 and 10.2.1 would be to downgrade using Future Restore. And I have an entire playlist uh, demoing how this works, fixing various errors, because this is a work in progress created by Timstar. And uh, Timstar published uh, the um, the source code, but it still has minor issues here and there, minor errors here and there, and requires various configurations on the device. And so if you go ahead on my channel, uh, you have a playlist on iOS downgrades, you can find it on my playlists, and there I have the configurations required for Future Restore, and how to use it, and so on, how to save the blobs. But this has a caveat, and that is you need to have the bloops saved. Now, um, when Yalu was released, the... Um, the actual post made by Luca Tedesco was save your blobs or something along that lines. Well, uh, iOS 10.2 was still signed at that time. This is one of the few jailbreaks released when the iOS itself was still signed, the target version. And uh, Luca Tedesco and I personally say it on the channel a lot of times to save your blobs. And I also made a lot of tutorials on how to do that. But um, yeah, a lot of people didn't made it out and didn't save their blobs, probably not uh, not because they didn't want it, but probably because they didn't actually see the video or the warnings and therefore it requires you to have saved the blobs. How these blobs uh, look like? If you go here in SHSH2 folder, you can see it's a small file that looks like this. Unfortunately, you cannot use anyone else's blobs. You need to have your own because they are device uh, specific. And if I use, for example, your blob for my device, it's not going to work. You have to save your own. So. This would be one of the things you can do. If you have saved your blobs for iOS 10.2, you might be able, even though you're on iOS 10.3 or 10.2.1, you might still be able to go back to to 10.2. It's not a it's not an easy procedure, but TeamStar demoed it very, very good. So you might be able to do so. But speaking about the iOS 10.3 beta jailbreak, it's less, it's less likely to happen. One, due to the fact that iOS 10.3 has a lot of exploits and bugs patched. And the second one, we do not have developers that want and that, are, that have the uh, knowledge to do so. I myself am a uh, developer, but I'm quite beginner in the jailbreaking uh, field and I'm not feeling that I can do a full-fledged jailbreak. So for the moment, I cannot consider myself in the list of developers that are possibly uh, releasing a jailbreak for 10.3, hopefully in the future. But anyways, uh, this is kind of the situation. So do not update to 10.3, it's going to be bad for you. Stay on 10.2.1 if you already updated and you are not jailbroken. It might be better, you might have more chances to um, to get on that because this is a general rule on iOS. If you stay on the lowest firmware, you might have more chances. It's not a, um, a thing that happens all the time, but it is uh, actually happening often. So this is basically how it goes, guys. I really hope I made clear everything related to this. So again, do not update to 10.3. Uh, you have more chances on 10.2.1, and if you did have the bloops, it would be very great if you can downgrade, and you can downgrade using Future Restore to 10.2 and jailbreak because. Sincerely, I'm not going to, um, to lie on you, iOS 10.2 jailbreak might literally be the last jailbreak for a long, long time, so we have to be prepared on that. But I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens, these things, these facts that I presented are not actually uh, nailed, so they can change at any point. I'm going to keep you updated if that happens. So I'm Geosnow, till the next time, I really hope I made my things clear in here, and peace out.